If you can see that, well done. <laughs> I've never been able to see it. To me, it looks like a toaster. <laughs> One lovely guy on my trip once, he told me it looks like a point which used to be there. Whatever, they got away with it. 
rubbish badge to our left. This is how the rubbish is removed from London. It's not just in the Victorian era that we use the Thames as a highway, we still do bring heavy loads, light rubbish, uh, lots of building materials when we're building skyscrapers near the river's edge. We still transport a lot of things along the river. Quite good fun. 
Well, you could always go back to the next time, I've only that much to do now. Look at how much a penny we buy you back then, and we buy you three loaves of bread, uh, or four pounds of beer. And thankfully, they chose to take it for the bread and not the beer, otherwise, it would be a lot more expensive to see beds here in London. Uh, but uh, I'm really pleased they've not put the price up since they opened in my I think we have eaten those black fries before on train. So, we're coming back to the, uh, the two and a half bridges here at Blackfriars. This first one is a railway bridge. This is the more recent railway bridge designed for diesel trains. Diesel trains are much heavier than the old steam trains that we first used to come from in the Times Road. That could take me to the bank for The old bridge used to be standing on the columns between the two bridges. That's coming in here on either side now. Well, when we removed the old bridge, we realised we put the foundations of the new bridge a little bit too close. Definitely not going to mess with the you again. Definitely not going to mess with you again. Definitely not going to mess with you again. Got to warn that jubilee line again. I noticed it was illustrated on stage. That lower platform, there was a jubilee line upstairs platform. Uh, you, you might 
Port Malice. Uh, when that burned down, they built a building called Whitehall Mansions, which is service apartments. It's now become a hotel. They do a really good afternoon tea. If you're looking for somewhere with good cake, that's the place to head to. I'm not a lady who messes around when it comes to cake. Up ahead of us, covered in scaffolding, you can of course see the clock tower there that is famously known as Big Ben. It's not actually called Big Ben, it's the name of the bell inside. Lots of Londoners will enjoy telling you that if they hear you call it Big Ben. Don't worry too much, they'll call it Big Ben themselves two minutes later. Big Ben is the name of the bell and it was named for a man called Benjamin Hall who was the director of works when we were rebuilding the House of the Parliament in the 1840s. He was large and loud. The bell is uh, 13 and a half tons. It's huge and it makes quite a racket. So we named it after Benjamin Hall. I've always thought the very luckiest name was a Richard Hall or we'd have ended up with a much more embarrassing name. <laughs> <laughs> On the left you can see the, uh, the beautiful county hall there. This was originally a political building. Um, 1986, the Greater London Council was disbanded and this came up for private rental. So uh, Merlin moved in. This is now our Merlin hut where you find the London Eye Ticket Office, Trek's Adventure, London Dungeon and the Sea Life Aquarium. So if you're wondering what to do for the rest of your afternoon, plenty of options for you there if you've not already got a plan. Now we are nearly docked, but please do stay in your seats just a few more minutes while we get tied up safely and then you can start moving. But all I really have left to say is a big fat thank you. Thank you very much for joining us today on such a beautiful day. Oh, thank you very much. It's so delightfully great to be here. Enjoy the sunshine for the rest of your time in London, whatever you get up to. Now when you hop up, I'm going to be down by the gate, so if you want to say goodbye, uh, want to give me a high five, uh, want to ask any questions, if you need any advice or anything like that, you'll find me down by the gate as you hop off. So please do have a look around you, make sure you've got all your bits and bobs. Your mother-in-law, your children, all of that nonsense. Make sure you've got everything with you.